Hello minions! Welcome back to my stream! I am Lord of Skellies and today we are going to play I want to hug that gator! Because we still need to hug that gator. I played the demo and I still didn't hug that gator. But this time he, I am not alone! We have with Orsef the little parasite in my side. As you can you can totally see. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, uh, again, if you don't know her, that's my little sister. It's Quizy Bitsy Kitty. Crystal Waltz for everybody. I am the only one that actually calls her Quizy Bitsy Kitty, so be careful with that. <laughs> but yeah. Yes, sir. Anyway, uh, we played the demo, and it looks like that this game also allows me to, to skip the demo, which is something that I really appreciate because I don't want to play the entire demo all over again. So, Chris, you actually watch my previous streams? I don't know anything about this game? Um, I have decided to not spoil myself, so all of this is brand new to me. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, is that we can skip the demo, so. <laughs> Oh, good, good. So, so I'm gonna point you <laughs> right what we what we are into it. Just, just a just a little um, you know, quick uh, quick resume. You can still mm. watch the my previous things that I actually played the demo, so you know to to see what they're, what's the real deal. But the thing is, we are um, a guy called Inko G Nito. You probably don't get it, but probably later on you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Japanese. Incognito. Incognito. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was here because I was breaking it down. I'm like, uh, incognito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was slowly breaking it down. Like, man, that almost sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but the thing is. The thing, okay, anyway, and we are a guy called Incognito, we are actually went into a school of art to, you know, study photography. We have ourselves uh, the first friend that is Peter Parker, but in dinosaur form. We have another friend that is, um, uh, you, you, you watch Jurassic, Jurassic Park, right? Yes. You remember which is the dinosaur that actually killed the fat guy? Uh, which one is this? You just said Jurassic Park. There's like three of them. The first one. Or more. The first one. Jesus. Uh. Was it a raptor? Mm, nope. No. It was, it was a Dilophosaurus. Oh, shit. No, it's, not, they... it's not very memorable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, we, we have a friend uh, like that. And apparently, right. I'm not sure if his pa father is... A joke of of Nedry, that is the fat man of Jurassic Park, or a combination with with um, the guy from King of the Kills that I don't remember the name. <laughs> but anyway, Ooh. we have an, that friend, and of course we have we already established a connection with the Gator that we need is gonna hug, and it's called Bia, and she is an artist, a painting artist, Ooh. traditional painting artist. And yeah, at the, at the very beginning she was resilient to talk to us, but then she started to, to, little, to literally talk to us a little bit. And also okay. she and also she is a brother with the Dilophosaurus. Well, not brother, sister. So yeah, the Dilophosaurus guy and the gator and the gators and the gator girl is our um, family. So you have to know that. You all right? Okay, you got an idea. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, now that we are ready to go hug the gator, and just in case if she bites my head, remember that I have an a self destructor, a self destruction uh, um, button in my left wrist. Bruh. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, let's start the game. Uh, we detected you played the demo before. Would you like to skip the new content? Ask me again next time. Can I change in the settings? Okay, yeah, we're gonna skip the to the new content. Okay, 
Uh, when Alevia passed drawing and you draw her a half pipe held onto the the sheet. Till, no, I did I did this. Okay, so technically this is these are the choices that I made in demo. So it makes sense. When Alevia was adamant on staying in, inside staying inside with you, invited to join you backside, convince her with her family needs her out there. Um, I can I cannot remember which one I took. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out uh, really quick. Give me a moment. If I'm not mistaken, I invite her out. Mm -hmm. But just in case, I'm gonna check that out. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is gonna take a while, but it has to be done. Okay, here is. Okay, here it is. Okay, yeah, I invite you. Good thing that I still keeping my streams on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube if you want to. That's where I actually got the good yeah, juices. Yeah, fucking follow button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, older versions of the demo pre full game release did not properly save your drawings in a game readable way. To fix this, we would like to offer you a chance to redo your original masterpiece or to choose from the file picker would you be interested in. Wow! Okay, so I, re I made a really cool Olivia last time. <laughs> so yes, I would look to the redraw. Yes, I would like to use the file picker or no. Um. But you, you know, you know what? I, I, I gonna redraw it. After all, I have a shit ton of time. Give me a moment. I, I need to, yeah, I need, I need to get this in order to draw here. This is gonna take a, a while, but some work has to do it. All right, let's try this out. Okay, let me check. I, I I am switching between the picture and and the game, so yeah. All right, let's see. Okay, the 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 haircut it's a little bit difficult, but it can be done. It can be done. All right, tick, tick, tick. There we go. Easy PC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that I am really, really skilled with a fucking mouse. <laughs> Okay, now we're starting to actually see the entire, the entire story. So here we go. September 25. It's been nearly a full month and things are starting to feel natural in school now. Well, at least compared to my old schools, except now I actually made some good friends. I'm pretty sure we're good friends anyways. I don't really know how the, to measure friendship. Excuse me, what? Wait, what was that? I'm not sure what it was. Ooh. Outside of that party of a few days ago, I haven't hung out with any of them outside of school. If friends just hung out at school, and got friends did stuff outside of school, where does that put us? Mm, unjust known, I guess. Well, it's still early in the school year. I'll figure out the friendship conversation rate at some point. And it's not a line rushing them either. Coach, shirts, focus! With my current thoughts, I realize I have been in the middle of a climbing of a rock wall in the gymnasium. Huh. Why was I uh, spacing out again?
Oh, right. Bro. I leave a lot of, I leave a lot of rock into my head. <laughs> ah, yeah, we were hanging. <laughs> and now we go. <laughs> All right. I cannot remember how all the voices of this one. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's the gator girl. What do you what do you oh, say? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey yeah, uh, PB Pixel, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. What you baby? Yeah, it's the it's the baby that I need to hold. I'm not sure if my sister is gonna get jealous because of that, but we will see. <laughs> Ugh. Made it just in time. I take my seat right next to Olivia and let myself relax for a second. Olivia is an usual doodling away on her netbook. I take a, qu a quick peek at her new work, curious to see who she is trying to turn into a caricature today. Instead, the page is filled with various scribbles of what looks to be a rat. She's on me! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, the only piece of shading for its fur is just on its head, save for a white spot around its right eye. She's really, she's really drawing me! <laughs> she's drawing me! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ah, yeah. Looks like the same one she did on the note we passed around in history class. The Murray moral shows it in various poses and scenarios, some basic and some pre creative. There's even one wearing cape and wielding a ridiculous giant seven needle like a sword. Yeah, I don't I don't use capes, unfortunately. <laughs> These rat doodles of yours are pretty cute. Okay, the, th the thing about Olivia is that she sounds tired and raspy. That's that's what I actually heard. Or at least... Uh, oh, what? good, because that's me. <laughs> <laughs> tired and raspy. <laughs> yeah. All right, I can, I can definitely pull it off. Thanks. Actually, that reminds me. Look who else I drew over the weekend. She flips a couple of pages on her sketch foot and holds it up for me to see. Much to my surprise, it's none other than Mia. Technically, that's um. Do you remember um, uh, Naomi from Snoot Game? Yes, yes. The pink parasite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure if she is her sister. Wow. But the thing, I'm not sure, uh, the entire Snoot Game community says that it's her sister, but we, we, I'm not sure if that is canon or not. But the thing is, uh, okay. she looks like Naomi, but instead of eating books, she eats a shit ton of cocaine. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Olivia decided to draw her as what I can only describe in the most flattering of ways as a druggy harlot. Druggy harlot is crazy. Yeah, ah, and, also, and also Mia is the is the the Peter Peter Parker's girlfriend. So that's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> and Peter Parker is technically. Officially now, uh, the community, she's now Miss Sister. Yeah, in the community, that's why. But I'm not sure if she is what well, PB Pixel said, but I'm not sure if that is canon in the game, so <laughs> let's just put it like that. Okay, her, her clothes are even more ripped than her usual attire. Her jacket is filled with all kinds of unflattering patches. And her air is styled into a gaudy mohawk that only detracts lightly from her face too, full of piercings and rings. Mm. In fact, she has a couple of rings piercing in her eyelids to the point that I think it will be impossible to keep her eyes open from their weight. That's a lot. Mm. And that's not even getting into the tattoos that Olivia has thrown on Mia's face. I can't help 
but let let out a sneaker at the site. You like? She's sporting a smoke grin as she looks my way. I mean, it's funny, but how can she even breathe without loose nose rings? Doesn't need to. She's full of hot air already. <laughs> The girl chuckles at her <laughs> own joke. I bet if she saw it, Tim will blow on her ears. <laughs> <laughs> Fun girl from Village. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'd stomp around uselessly and then do nothing else. Seems like you have a pretty good idea on how she works. She's just predictable. It's not rocket science. We're interrupted by a pair of students. I recognize them. So I only know one of their names. Okay, you, you have to do the female voices, unfortunately. <laughs> um. Hmm. She seems like the... She's a the, raptor. The She's a raptor. I know she she talks yeah, a lot. So she might be, she might be a little loud. <laughs> she talks a lot, so yo, yeah. yo, Inko, my hum, my hummy, my hummy. Wow. <laughs> so I saw what you submitted for the contest, and I just love it. It was so good, I just had to show it to my friend. Okay, this one is this one is um the the triceratops. All right, not sure what what the fuck is this here. Like a triceratops. Hmm. You got the H pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I know that because right now uh, Lunara, the Velociraptor one girl, is having the same treatment as Stella from Snoop Game. <laughs> 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 so yeah, we I can confirm that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um. Yeah, man, I just had to come see who made it when Lunara told me all about it. And when she told me, I was like, oh my god. I just knew when I saw you, you had that artistic spirit. Pretty damn fantastic, especially for a newbie. I'm a bit taken aback by her. Backhanded compliment. Still... <laughs> It is not, it is a compliment. The first real one I heard since coming to St. Hammond. About my art, I mean. Oh my gosh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Kiara, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Cool. I mean, it's not that great of a piece. It's just something I had on hand. Last minute? Damn, you're selling yourself way too short here. Yeah, your work is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm thinking we should hang out sometime. Oh, you slut. Trying to get into his pants. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll see the bell pretty soon. Like, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Already? Damn! Nina saw something coming. Ah, shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you again, Inko. Keep up the great work. Be seeing you later. Yeah, be seeing you real soon, Inko. I can help but smile uh, as my new friends. Question mark? <laughs> actually, actually, I'm gonna put my question mark in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a personal question mark. <laughs> okay, exclamation marks. Wave their goodbye and depart. A heavy feeling of joy washing through my head as I replay, replay their words of price repeatedly. In the corner of my eye, Olivia's smile reflects the overwhelming cheer I'm feeling. Though it seems to vanish the moment I look at her. <laughs> Seems like you're becoming a talker to school. I mean, I hope that I got some positive feedback about my work, but I didn't realize 
that it will be that good. Olivia chills her lip in contemplation before turning to me. Inca so obvious about then flirting with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say, Inko, can I see your submission? Sure, give me a second. Luckily, I'm prepared. As not only do I have my portfolio right, but I finally set up a cloud drive for it. There's something I need to do. Hmm. Yeah, I, I should totally to put uh, my fucking drawings in a cloud because right now I'm running out of space on my network. <laughs> Same. <laughs> It is as simple as opening up the application on my phone and simping to the exact digital copy to present it to Olivia. Ta-da! I consider it my magnum opus. Magnum mm -hmm. opus. I finally got to say it. <laughs> you keep a copy of it on your phone? I got my whole portfolio in a cloud storage. I learned it, wa it was good practice from a couple of artist blogs. So, what do you think? Oh, uh... Olivia's queen on my phone, uh, sh she does her best to formulate her option. Her opinion, sorry. It's, uh, nice. The composite of it is really something. You mean, composition? Yeah, that too. You did great, Inko. Huh. Getting a compliment for Olivia for my work feels a bit alien to me. But maybe, just maybe, this was the start of uh, something new. Yeah, I can almost feel it now. Inko G. Nito. Ace photographer, <laughs> capable of capturing masterpiece through a photo lens. <laughs> okay, now it makes more sense when you see it on... on when you see it right, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. This is so this is a low quality Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That has a nice rate to it. Olivia well, must see my self congratulatory ring because her own drops. Alright, you did good. Don't let it get to your head. When the grain remains she forces out of by elbowing me in the chest. Ah! Warned you. That's going to lay us a bruise. With that exchange behind us, Olivia and I get ready for class. As was the norm by now, Mr. Ida can begin class with some violent abuse of school property. Good morning, huh? good morning. Now, settle down. We got announcements to go over. I sit back in my seat, suddenly filling out the spot where Olivia smacked me to check. Yep, Bruce said, she's. As the pale pterodon continued reading from the announcement shit like he did every day, I found myself lost in my own thoughts. Nothing else really happens that I consider out of the ordinary. Things. Things that are new, like the school itself, are finally starting to become mundane. Okay. One class later. <laughs> Let it lunch. I'm really now my best stand up to Olivia while Damien's out getting seconds. That's a, that's a Olivia's brother. Oh, okay. D Damien is Olivia's brother. Okay. Liz has re retreated to her usual space in the rafters. And Liz, I'm not sure, she probably is, has uh, feelings for Damien, but it, we, they are not uh, boyfriends in a manner of speaking. So oh. you, go, you go see that. And then he says, oh my god, you! Olivia hands fires to her nose, trying to fail in to contain the snorfield lever. It sets off a chain of reaction as my own laughter spills over mouthful of cheap school burger. 
<sighs> God, you suck at comedy, Inko. Olivia drinks greatly from her canteen to alleviate her sore vocal cords. Is that why you're all out of breath? It was a pity laugh. Stick to the stick, uh, stick to photography. You got a better one. <laughs> the mood is slow to settle, but once Olivia has caught her breath, she speaks with a night smile. In fact, I do. So a triceratops, a T-Rex, and a Rhino Rex find a lamp. Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> her, her, her mother clown shut and eyes go wild. Ali Ah, oh, okay, this is Ben. Ah, perfect! I was looking for you too. This is Peter Parker. <laughs> 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 okay, Olivia casts her eyes down to her lunch, spearing her mystery meat roughly with a talon. Hey Ben, what's up? I figured I'd come by to congratulate you on the submission entry. This again? I mean, it is my best piece, but all the price for it is still surprising. It's, ex accelerate, it's accelerating all these compliments and everything. Thanks, man. Hey, maybe I'll be the winner for the contest. What do you think, Olivia? The green getter flinches. Ben shakes his head. Also, Olivia, great to catch you here. Principal Scott wanted to wanted me to remind you that you need to clean up after yourself. Living messes in classes can disrupt students in other periods. Scholar say that? Why not tell Olivia herself? She's busy and tired of reminding you. Damn. Olivia scoff at the mention of her principal, yet keeps her mouth firmly closed. Must not be that important then. Inko, I just spent my entire second period cleaning up her mess because she's not taking anything seriously. I'm not surprised to be scholar Seran boy. I am like, certainly not surprised supposed to be personal janitor. I'm led to frown at Olivia giving Ben the silent treatment. Was it wrong of me to think she'd be more open with everyone else like she is with me? You know how hard it is to scrub baking soda out of the carpet once it's dried? Oh, sorry, that was Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just try to not make other people's life harder? Ben, what the hell? I... I didn't mean that. I went too far, sorry. Olivia tries to shut in me an indifference case. It cranks a bit into embarrassment when I didn't... I, I don't return it. Ben comment, Ben's comment is completely uncalled for. I can't just stand around, or, stand around if she is not even going to defend herself. All right, Harry Potter, back up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ben. Leave her alone. I mean, she looks like Harry Potter in a way, but let, let's be honest. She, <laughs> she resembles Peter Parker even more. <laughs> stay, stick with me. Stay with me. My point being, Olivia, this is completely ridiculous. I expect better from you. Expect? How can you ex have expectations for her? Damn. That came out a little wrong. That, that came out <laughs> a little wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I expect her to do the bare minimum and not to waste my time. Olivia doesn't even bother looking at Ben. Instead, she's looking at me with that sad face until she quietly wheels away from us. I think I went a little too far there. Man. 
He pitches his brawn and sights. And left standing here with the student council president. I wonder what I had done that earned me Olivia's ire just now. You are still asking! <laughs> that bad? Mia really wanted me to have lunch with her today. She's definitely gonna give me an earful after school. He glances at his phone and grimaces at the notifications. Look to son, she's giving me one now. Well, you should probably grab your lunch while there's still time. Blaine glasses up and went at one of the clocks on the lunchroom. There's, about, there's only about 10 minutes of lunch left. Bah, you're right, but the line is usually closed five minutes ago. His face hammers his palm in empathy. Epiphany. Oh, you use the vending machines out there. Anything good there? I've been enjoying the Atomic Hot Taquitos recently. <laughs> but Damien tells me he is a bigger fan of the bitter melon bite. Bitter melon it is. I don't think my take could handle that amount of cap, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> ben gets off from his seat. All right, I'll go check out. Let one of his feet gets caught on the stool and he stumbles headpiece. Right into Damien tray, Tucker with a we. Uh, with Mr. Emit. There you go! <laughs> mm. He face his plants right through the tray in onto the floor. On the bright side, the Mr. Emit cushions his fall. On the dark side, the Mr. Emit cushions his fall. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa! Bang! You alright? <laughs> I jump from my seat and uh -huh. go help him walk. Ugh. Instantly, I take a look around the cafeteria. Yeah, everybody is looking at it. I'm yeah. probably taking pictures. <laughs> All eyes are on us. I already hear it starting. Various murmurs about the safety of the student council president. Murmurs that start breaking into years. I know how this song and dance goes. It's over for Ben. It's over. <laughs> He gets up and dusts off his blazer. Not exactly what I mean when I said meet and greet, Damien. Oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. All of a sudden, the entire atti attitude of the cafeteria shifts before my eyes. Nice landing! <laughs> the, year, <laughs> the years were deflected into a general amusement that permanently throughout out the room. One of the nearby students stands up and hands him a few napkins to wipe his face off. Hey, thanks! He does... How does man he manage to stay composed while covered in school, Mr. Mead? I'm both impressed and jealous. You okay? So you couldn't eat me. Nah, even if I swallow any, I take a lot more than that to really be an issue. I'll be fine. Thank you for the concern, though. Even as he brushes off the lunchroom grain, Ben carries himself with dignity. If that well. had been me. This guy has some serious quick wit. Now, there's probably a little more to it than that. Man, I was looking forward to eating that. Why on earth did you even have that much meat flow? I asked the cafeteria lady earlier this morning to let me have the leftovers. Although now it's gone a bit to waste. He eyes the remains of the floor. Some poor janitor is going to have to mop all that up. Maybe. Don't even think about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how Damien that's how Damien oh, brain works. No. <laughs> he always he always see possible in everything. 
12 signaling or next class tools. The fist fights and gang war cease on command, and everyone starts milling towards the exit. The cafeteria empties enough that I can clearly see Ben shape me love Angel on the floor. Starts taking the floor. <laughs> There's a familiar rubbery and texture feeling on my fingertips. My instincts have kicked in. Hands going for the camera to capture the moment. After which a sense of shame rolls over me. Mm. That I could even consider capturing something like this, especially when it's happening to my friend. I get up from my seat with a heavy sigh and finally head for my exit for my next class. I hope Ben will have the time to clean before photography. He has got five minutes. On my way to photography. I'm still a bit caught up by what just happened. I think I'm starting to see how Ben accomplished that. I mean, ordinary an incident that embarrassing will be just detrimental to your social standing. On my first day, I went through something like that, and even so humili humiliating, people were spreading rumors for days. Sure, they died out pretty quick. But the fact is, it happened. One moment everything is fine, then suddenly something you couldn't have even seen coming just on pension life. Stuff like that can happen all the time, and to anyone. It's something that that's always terrified me. It's something that just happened to Ben only. He only he was, he was accepted. He was quick on his feet and diffused the situation faster than it could have even really started. It's like disaster avoidance. I seriously think it's the most important skill one can have. To have everything under control, to see travel from a mile away and making none issue even when it takes you by surprise. That sort of social capital is something I need. Maybe it's a little selfish, but if if I were seen that way, then any sudden happenings would be forgiven instantly. Of course, Ben isn't alone. The world is full of people with that skill. Only I'd be lying if I said most of them deserve it. Most people able to get away with stuff use their unique ability for just that, getting away with stuff. What should have been seen a blessing of a social buffer is just some enabling trait of theirs, a charismatic get out of jail free card. Mm. If I had that ability, I used to push myself to the limits both artistically and productively. That's my ultimate goal. Ben is one of the good ones, definitely. He definitely earned my respect over this. The question remains though, how do I get like that? That line of, of thinking is cut off, I run the next corner. Okay, this is the uh, Naomi and crack that I told you. <laughs> okay. She, she's, she's the real one, so you have to know that. Oh, Naomi. Uh, but so Naomi was rebel. But Naomi was rebel. We have to point out. <laughs> Wanted to talk with you, Olivia. At the center of the hallway intersection, I see Mia and Olivia. Bruh. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's Mia. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Oh, come the fuck on now, Livia. Don't be such a killjoy. I'm trying to be nice here. The grin on Mia's face is jovial as she stands before the wheelchair bone girl, her tail lazily thugging as she eyes Olivia. Man, I never realized how lethal those spikes on her tail look. After all, 
have to be nice to someone as talent as talented as Livia, don't I? Behind her are a pair of similarly smiling Saurian girls. What that sentence? Actually, wait a minute. Those two. They're Bruh. Mia's friends? I mean, she knows her way around a palette and canvas. Right, Livia? A paraplegic P uh, Picasso here. That's you, right? I can't imagine how useless you must feel otherwise. I'm so glad you're able to put those thoughts aside and paint some things you like. Mia takes a step towards Olivia, her previous expression taking on a more omnibus hair. Yet for all that talent and uptake potential, you seem like some sort of basic Seem like some of the basics except uh, expected of a functioning young adult. Mia's lips part, revealing a cruel grin. I heard you've been a really dirty, messy little baby, leaving your stuff everywhere in class and getting it all over the place. Yeah, that uh, you remember that Mia and Ben are currently boyfriends, right? <laughs> So yeah. Mia and Ben are boyfriends? Yeah. Oh. They should stick you in a cute little bib. Get out and Leonardo laugh. Jira and loudly at Olivia. Mia snapped her finger, causing the two of them to go quiet. I still don't want to believe it. Those two, they were so nice to me. What they're doing with Mia? I know them. They they're smart. They know it if this is what it looks like it's horrible. And they're not the kind of people to punch down like this. But well, they all decided to do this, right? So what's going on? Is there more to this situation? Mia takes another step forward, her figure now looming over Olivia. As she looks down with a cruel sneer on her lips. Normally, I wouldn't waste my time trying to single you out. But I'm going to use this moment to make you get the picture. Benny was supposed to join me for lunch. But he had to stay behind and clean up after your mess. This is where all my love left for at least three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I get it. I kinda get it, so yeah. <laughs> you got your issues, you can't ride a bike, whatever. That's your fucking problem. Stop making it mon, Livia. Or do I need to start being a problem for you? Yeah. Doesn't Ben look like your nan- Does Ben look like your nanny? Well, she does come pre-packed with the stroller. Come on, Mia, that's crossing a line. Not like she can stand up to you or anyone. Mm. That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah. What? Just chatting with Liv here. But if I did hurt your feelings, I'm really, really shawly. Kara's beak clicks slowly and rapidly, while Lonara's hands covers her mouth to hide a giggle. Jeez. Mm. Um. Any time? I'm gonna have to. And tone it down a bit with the voice acting, so I just read normally. Okay. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, don't take it too personally, Livia. I'm just teasing you. Right, Liv? We're all just one big happy family here. Lord knows some of us here could use one. Hmm. Inka standing there with his thumbs up his ass. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. I want to hear both sides of the story here, what Mr. Emilia and Olivia have for a conversation like this. I think uh, getting this upset over her missing lunch with Ben is extreme, but Mia's friends remain by her side, completely steadfast against Olivia. Is it that bad? And yet Olivia says nothing to her. She has her head atop the knuckles of her hand like I would during Brooklyn's history lessons. There were moments where Olivia's tail would press into the floor, shifting her chair back or to the side. It looked like she was attempting to sidestep the conversation with that muscular tail, but Mia's own moments cut, cut off her escape attempts. Mia returns the comps there, there's no motion, but the staring contest was fight in its own way and the first to look away will lose. Olivia's frigid indifference against Mia's piercing gaze. Kiara is on dropping her phone and both glare at her simultaneously. A draw. Kiara, I swear I'll kill you one of these days. Olivia takes the opportunity to move past Mia. Mia takes no time to talk on her stance and continue her spew, spew insults. What? Leaving so soon? No response. And so quickly? That's almost normal walking speed. I was honestly thinking, you need a cooler nickname to go with your need for speed. Hot Wheels. In an instant, Olivia stops to, to a squeaking halt. Gone was her stoic face. In its place were eyes wide with shock. How the hell? Olivia's pace falters. Mia quickly steps ahead again and places a foot on her left wheel. You're brain dead fin head friend told me back in the gym class. He went on about how you had it back when you were still soiling your diapers. Honestly, I think you should embrace it. So say it. Well. Are you retarded, you stupid bitch? Fucking say it. God, do you need fucking speech therapy too? Say it. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. See, I knew you could do it. Kind of fitting, I agree with half of it. Olivia's clothing into her armrest. Maybe that's the nuance. The point is that only half of it works. Mia turns to look at Kiara and Lunara, eliciting some more giggling from them. I'm sure you wouldn't mind us making it cool again though, right? I mean, you were such a winner back then. Mia leans in close, her voice now a hard stage whisper as she glares daggers through Olivia. What's wrong, Hot Wheels? Don't want to talk anymore? Am I not good enough for you? Even from afar, I can tell that Olivia is starting to lose her composure. Her tail lays limp on the floor, as if the energy to hold it was thrown away. Oh my god. I think this is bullying. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> I didn't want to believe it, but it's undeniable by now. This is textbook bullying. It's unfair. It's like when you're in a line of use the restroom after hours of hours of waiting and someone cuts in front of you. Completely inexcusable. Is this the part of where I should step in? 
What do I even say? I have to at least try, right? It's my duty as a fellow student. Maybe I don't need to say anything at all. Just being present for Olivia against the whole court. And it certainly wouldn't help if I got an even bigger target on my back for Mia. I'm gonna have to end it here. Okay. So... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna save. Okay. I'm gonna, we're gonna save here and we're gonna end it here. So, we're gonna continue on Sunday. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, because again, it's Monday, we both are tired. <laughs> so, anyway, let's see if we can raise someone. Probably there's someone to raid. And let me check, let me check, let me check. I mean, it's Monday, probably there's no one to, to raid. Mm, no. There's no one to raid, so we're gonna cut in here. Anyway, this is the end of the stream. I hope you guys had a blast because I always had a blast. Uh, the next the, ne the next uh, stream is gonna be on Thursday. And uh, instead of playing Batman Arkham City, I wanna play a little bit more of Helldivers 2 because Helldivers 2 on weekends is a little bit difficult because the servers are getting full on, on weekends. So <laughs> that's why I'm gonna try to actually play it on Thursday. So yeah. That's the next stream that is gonna happen. So remember, Thursday evening, we're gonna play Helldivers for three hours straight. And anyway, as always, be safe out there and have a good night. See you next time, my minions! <laughs>